Hi everybody, um, I thought I'd just do a video to show you um, the latest kill note moon I've done. So a bit of background, um, the last firing I did lots of mugs like this with slip trailing on with a clear glaze over the top which are alright but I didn't think they were that interesting so this time I've done or tried lots of coloured glazes over slip and also I've got some glaze tests um, I've been trying to make a red glaze which might not have worked I've not slow cooled the kiln at all which I probably need to do to get any reds but we'll have a look in the way I've not opened this yet, I've not even peaked so it could all be a disaster or it could be good or it could be average so there's my cones firing um, electric kiln to cone 8 <coughs> oxidation so it's pretty good cone 7 and 8 looks pretty decent cone 8 I think So I've got a few sets of bowls in this firing. So these mm. in the inside of this was a glaze that I sort of made with a mixture of leftovers. That's so like a really dark green. Lighter green on the outside. So they're not too bad if you like green. That's one set of four bowls. You're getting that. Yeah, the light's a bit weird. It's a bit yellow, isn't it? Oh, it's better. I think I was in the way of the light thing. That's a little spoon rest. So this was black and white slip in the middle. She's been pretty much covered up with this yellow glaze. But These are the ones I did for Jenny, my mother-in-law. Done a six set of six bowls. That's this dark green on the outside and yellow in the middle. Just getting a few flecks of the clay, which is all right. And then these have been slip trailed with. A white and black slip around the outside. Might have been nice to have seen a bit more of that through, but Got cobalt here. Well, I think I actually use three glazes on this one. That's quite nice there on the. Uh, if you can see that on the lip, it's kind of. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but looks quite nice. I <clears throat> uh, just had to grab my charger because my phone died and um, this is a spoon rest 
my back in. Yeah, so this is a black and white slip and I've done like a marbled pattern. So did some dots and dragged a, a point through them to do this marbly effect. That's just got the white glaze over the top. similar kind of thing. This is white and um, black slip just dolloped on and then shook about to make sort of a marbly look. It's another spoon rest. Another bigger bowl. Um, fruit bowl type thing. Um, it's a bit. Don't know. It's a bit busy, that isn't it? Might be alright if you. Don't know, like that kind of thing. Glaze tests. That's just <clears throat> the mix of all my previous tests. 52. Let's have a look. Fifty-two. So I've written down fifty-two talc. Ooh. Yeah, that's definitely not red, is it? Hmm. Oh, this is a little bowl for my wife. What? I don't know what's going on with my camera, but this is a little bowl I made for my wife, Helen. That's come out quite nice. That's black slip again. See, that's the same as this one, but because it's been brushed on, it's thinner, so it's more of a brownie colour. This has been poured. Quite like that, it's quite nice. Sorry about showing my bum. So more bowls for Jenny. Oh, looking okay. No big, big errors of glazing, I don't think. 